Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Using Unit Squares to Find Area. This is part one. Probably a better title for this lesson would be What is Area? This is part one. What is area? What is surface area? So in this lesson, we're going to talk about the concept of area and what area is. How do we measure it? How do we write it down? And what does it actually mean? For some reason, the concept of area gives a lot of students problems, but I promise you it's not difficult to understand. We just have to talk for a little bit. So we have several problems to talk about, but before we get to the problems, I want to talk to you exactly what area means. Before I can talk to you about what area means, we have to talk about length. So we already know that we have been measuring things uh, in different units. We've talked about inches, we've talked about centimeters. So just as a refresher, an inch is about as long as this cap uh, there, that's about an inch long, about uh, roughly speaking, and a centimeter is the other unit of length we've been talking about. It's about the width of my finger. That's about a centimeter. All right. Now you can get these uh, these meter sticks which have uh, centimeters marked on the other side. Now I know that you can't really see this, but uh, I still want to, to tell you that this length of this rod from here all the way to here, let me look, take a look here, yeah, is 100 centimeters. So if you could zoom in really tight and look at this, you would see that one of these centimeters is about the width of my finger. And if you look uh, from about here to here, that's about 10 centimeters. And so there's 10, there's 20 centimeters, there's 30 centimeters, there's 40, there is 50 centimeters right in the middle. And if you keep on going to 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, the total length of this thing is 100 centimeters. So 100 centimeters is also called another unit of length called a meter. So I want you to look at this length, the whole length from here all the way to here, that's called one meter. So a person, a typical person is about one and a half meters tall, something like that. A unit of a meter is a pretty long uh, distance, really. And of course, a centimeter is, there's a hundred centimeters that fit into that meter. Now, if you flip this over, we actually do have inches on the other side. And as you can see, the uh, width of this cap is about an inch. It's not exact, but it's pretty close to about an inch. The reason I'm bringing up inches and centimeters and meters is because we are going to use those lengths when we're talking about what we're going to be talking about today, which is called area, because area and length are very closely related. Let's talk about what area really is. First, before we get to area, let's talk about length. What if I say, hey, I want you to tell me the length of this line. So I say, okay, here's a line between these arrows that has some length. And I ask you, what is that length? What if I drew a length here and I said, tell me what the length of this is? What you would do is you would hold up your measuring stick up to that, to one end, and you would count the number of, let's talk about centimeters in this case. We would go all the way over, and of course this board is getting in the way. But I can tell that this is about 46 or 47 centimeters long. So a centimeter is a unit of length. We use centimeters or inches or meters, or, and there's other units too, but we use those units to talk about the distance between two points in a straight line. Okay, so that's the unit and the concept of length. What is the concept of area? Well, when we talk about area, we don't want to just measure the length of something. We want to measure how big something is on a board. So let's take a look at something like this, right? Let's look at this. This is a rectangle. It has some height associated with it, and it also has some length associated with it. So we could measure the length and the height. We could, of course, do that. Um, but what would be, what would you, what would you answer me if I, if I asked you, what is the size of that rectangle? What would you tell me? Would you tell me the height of the rectangle? Well, yeah, the height is important, but it also has some length. So would you tell me the height or would you tell me the length? Well, the truth is both numbers matter because I could have a really long rectangle and skinny, or I could be at a really fat, you know, short uh, and fat kind of rectangle, and both numbers matter. The length of the rectangle matters and the height of the rectangle matters. So when I ask you, what is the size of that rectangle? You could give me the length and the height, but a better way to measure the size of this rectangle is actually something called area. So when we measure the length of this thing, we measure it in centimeters, right? So, or meters or whatever. So the length might be 10 or 20. I think we said it was 46. Let's call it centimeters for now. We use the length of centimeters to measure the length. Now, if we measure the length of this and the height of this, we also can measure in centimeters. So let's just say, for instance, that, that this guy is four centimeters wide, right? And let's say that it's two centimeters 
tall like this. So if I ask you, what is the size of this rectangle? You could tell me it's four wide and two tall. That's correct. But there's a better way to talk about the size of this thing, and that's called the area. Because if I look down here, right, let me draw, since we're measuring in centimeters, there's centimeters, let me draw what a one centimeter wide and a one centimeter tall little uh, square looks like. So this is one centimeter, and this is one centimeter. So it's one centimeter all the way around, it's a square. Right? So you could say this is a square centimeter. Why is it a square centimeter? Because I've drawn a square that has a centimeter in height and a centimeter in width. So what you could say is really, yeah, you could say this is one centimeter high and one centimeter tall, but a better way is to say, hey, this thing is really called a square centimeter. That's what it's really called. It's called a square centimeter because it's a centimeter with one, uh, a square with one centimeter on each side. So if I want to measure how big this rectangle is, a better way to do it is to figure out how many of these square centimeters will fit inside of this thing. Think about a, like a checkerboard, you know, has all the squares? Well, those are squares and that board has so many squares that fit on the surface, the surface of that board. How many of these one by one centimeter squares can fit in there? Well, let's go take a look. If this is two centimeters long, then if I cut it in half, this is one centimeter and this is one centimeter. And this is four centimeters long, right? So if I cut this in half here and then cut it in half again and cut it in half again, then this is one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter, and one centimeter. Now, my diagram is not exact, but the point is if I cut this thing in half like this, and then I cut this thing in half like this, and I cut it like this, and I cut it in like this, then I know that this little thing right here has to be what we call down below one square centimeter. One square centimeter. Square, if I, can, if I can write square correctly, sorry, square. Like this, one square centimeter. How do I know? Because if this is four centimeters wide, it has to be one plus one plus one plus one centimeter. So this right here, from here to right here, has to be one centimeter. And since this was two centimeters tall, then this has to be one centimeter tall, like this. So the distance here to here was also one centimeter, and this is one centimeter. So this thing was called a square centimeter. So let me ask you a question. How many square centimeters fit in this object? All you have to do is count them. Here's one square centimeter, here's two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what we have learned is that this figure actually has an area of, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has an area of eight. But eight what? What are we talking about? We're measuring how many square centimeters fit inside. So the area of this guy is eight square centimeters. So all you have to do to figure out how large a rectangular object is in terms of its area, like this sheet of paper has an area. All I would do is measure this distance and measure this distance. I would chop it up into units of one if I was talking about centimeters, I would figure out how many square centimeters fit inside of this thing. And in this case, we chop this guy up. Since it's two, we cut it in half. And since it's four, we cut it into four pieces. That's one by one centimeter. One by one centimeter. One by one centimeter. One by one centimeter. Each of these is a square centimeter, and there are eight of them. So the area is eight square centimeters. Now, I want to just make sure you understand, though, that when you measure distances, you measure it in centimeters or meters or inches, or some distance like that. When you measure area, it's always measured in square inches, or square centimeters, or square meters, or square something else. Because when you measure area, you're figuring out how many squares fit inside. And I can't tell you how important this is because it's really hard for me to express to you because when you get way farther down in math, there's actually entire classes in math that talk about area. And I'm not kidding, we have an entire class when you get to college that all talks about area. So this stuff that you're learning now is so incredibly important, we actually use it all the way through college, and I promise you that that's true. And that class, by the way, long time down the road, is called calculus. It deals almost completely with area, and I promise when you get to calculus, I will make it very easy for you to understand. Okay, here's our first problem. We now have a rectangle that's two centimeters tall by three centimeters wide. We have divided it into square centimeters. This is one, square, one centimeter by one centimeter, so this is a square centimeter. 
This is a square centimeter because it's one by one. We call it a square centimeter, another square centimeter. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six square centimeters. All right, now we have another object that is three meters tall. Notice the unit is meters and three meters wide. Because it's three meters, we chop it into three pieces this way. And because it's three meters here, it th we chop it into three pieces this way because this becomes one meter, this is 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 one meter. So how many square meters do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine square meters. Notice the unit is not meters. You do not measure area in meters. You do not measure area in centimeters. You do not measure area in inches. You measure area in square meters, in square inches, and in square centimeters. Because we're trying to count squares, that's what we're doing. What is the area of this object? One inch tall by eight inches wide. Notice because it's eight inches wide, we chop it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight segments here. And we have one inch tall, so this is a square inch. This is a square inch because it's one by one inch, one inch by one inch. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight square inches. So literally, to figure out the area, all you have to do is count squares. It's literally just count them. Here we have four centimeters tall by three centimeters wide. We chop this into three segments and we chop this into four segments because this is one centimeter by one centimeter. This is a square centimeter. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 square centimeters. 12 square centimeters. And our last problem is a two meter tall rectangle by a five meter wide rectangle. Maybe this is the backyard of your house or something like this. Two meters by five meters. We chop it up so there's one, two, three, four, five meters. And this is one, two meters. So every square is a meter in width and a meter in height. Meter, 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 meter. So it's a square meter here and a square meter here. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 square meters. 10 square meters. Notice we always measure in square units, square units, and so on. So every one of these problems literally is chopping up a object so that we can measure how many square parts of the area we have there. And by filling in and seeing how many square units we have, square meters or square inches, that's what we call the surface area. It's measuring how big the area, how big the surface is. It's not just measuring the length, but it's also taking into account the height of it too. And because there's two numbers here, you can't just say it's meters or it's uh, centimeters. You have to say it's square meters or square centimeters. Now, one last thing I'm going to leave you with before we end the lesson. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more problems like this, but I just want to show you something. Notice the following thing is true. We said the area was six square centimeters. Notice that two times three is six. All right, look at that. Now look here, we said the area was nine. Three times three is nine. Now look here, eight times one is eight. Look over here, four times three was 12. Look here, two times five is 10. So we're going to be doing more with this later, but basically to find the area of something, you multiply the length times the width or times the height, whatever you want to talk about. And it's going to give you the area in square inches or square centimeters and so on. So I want you to understand now how to count uh, square, uh, square units in order to find the surface area. And follow me on to the next problem. We're gonna, the next section, we're gonna get a little more practice with using unit squares to find area.